It is about time we take a look at the 97th weekly math challenge. But before I show you the problem, as always, I'd like to go over a few points. First of all, if you're interested in proposing a problem, please do so by emailing letssolvemathproblem7 at gmail.com. Also, one problem will be posted every 7 to 31 days, and you can share your answers by commenting them along with an explanation down in the comment section, keeping in mind that only unedited non-reply comments will be considered toward recognition and up to the first 10 people to correctly answer the problem will be recognized in the next video as shown. Congratulations, Min Kong Guyen, for being the very first person to post a correct solution to the last week's challenge. Let's recognize nine more winners. Congratulations, Azam Labib, Serengeti Gasa, Jevon Shanahan. Congratulations, Skerial007, Nikola C, Sonal Kumari, Congratulations, Moko Fujiwara, Binteng Alam Semesta WAM, and last but certainly not least, Jose Luis Hablusel Aceijas. A huge shout out to every single winner. Now, there is one quick announcement I'd like to make before we look at this week's challenge, and that is because I will be out of town for the next two to three weeks, the next challenge problem will be posted on July 10th or 17th and I sincerely apologize for the delay. Now let's take a look at this week's problem. And this week's problem was inspired by Yasin Zhaoui's proposal, to whom I express my heartfelt gratitude for making this week's challenge possible. And the problem is, given any positive integer n, let s sub n be the sum from i equals 1 to n of i, q sub n be the sum from j equals 1 to n of j to the sixth power, and p sub n be the sum from k equals to 1 to n of 2k cubed times the quantity sn squared minus sk squared. Find the last three digits of the fourth root of the quantity q sub 2019 plus p sub 2019. 